Hey, it's time for another Everyday Getaway. And it's Tuesday again, so we're going to be back in the kitchen in just a couple of minutes. There you go. But right now we're in the woods and uh, makes me think of a good old campfire and a s'more. So today we're going to make a special fall tree. It's a s'more bark, which sounds right up my alley. I like that maybe better than some of the other things that we've made. So uh, come on along, join us, and we'll make some s'mores bark together. Before we jump into the kitchen and make some s'mores bark, thought we'd take you a little bit of a fall walk. Our colors are not as beautiful as some years, but everything hasn't turned yet. That will give you a chance to see our walk for today. All right, funny story. We were walking a few seconds ago and Doug said, are there bears down here? You would think that there's bears. We had bears all over our town. People have seen them. So you would think that there'd be a bear here downtown. And I said, you would think so. And as soon as we said that, what we thought was a bear came out of the woods, but it was a lady with a black backpack on her, carrying it on her front. It looked like a bear nose. That was funny. This is the James River. It's kind of low right now. Hey, if you haven't already, please take a couple minutes and share this video. And if you haven't, please subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Thanks. Okay, so to start off with our s'mores candy bark, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with two packs of 11 ounce chocolate chips. We're gonna do one chocolate and one of the white chocolate. We're gonna melt it in the microwave to get it nice and smooth. We're gonna put in there one tablespoon of coconut oil just to help it out a little bit and make it a little shiny. So let's start melting. All right, we've almost got this milk chocolate chips melted. We put it in the microwave at 30 seconds each time, stirred a little bit after, and uh, we put the half tape or a half tablespoon of coconut oil in the milk chocolate, and we'll put the other half tablespoon in the white chocolate, just so that we can um, have a little bit of difference in taste. Doug likes white chocolate. I like milk chocolate, so. We'll kind of divide it up here. All right, white chocolate is melted and the milk chocolate is melted. So we'll get ready to try mixing it all up here. All right, we're gonna take five cups of golden graham cereal. We use the, the Great Value Honey Graham brand and it only took a small box and we're spreading it on a large baking sheet that we've lined with wax paper. So here's two cups. It takes five cups, but it says you put four and a half, and then we're gonna crush a half a cup up on the top. So that was two cups, four cups, and five cups, but I'm only gonna put half of those in. We'll save those to crush. And we'll spread this out a little bit. Mini marshmallow time. It says to, to kind of disperse a cup and a half, but honestly, a cup and a half marshmallows didn't seem like a lot. So I'm just gonna sprinkle marshmallows over until it looks like we have got enough on here to really enjoy them. Marshmallow is a fun part of a s'more. You gotta have enough of those. All right. All right, time to drizzle the chocolate. I like the milk chocolate. I actually like a little bit of dark chocolate involved, but Doug really doesn't like the dark chocolate. So we're gonna start by sprinkling or throwing this milk chocolate all over. It says you can use an offset spatula to push it out a little bit if you want. So I'll get the milk chocolate on and then Doug's gonna come back with some white chocolate behind. All right, since we're a divided house, 
We're gonna let Doug come in with the, the other side. What you got, Doug? So we're gonna drizzle a little bit of the white chocolate on top of this. It does look good. Looks real pretty. I'm thinking at Christmas, oh, if you did this, you could put some red and green sprinkles, or if you were uh, wanting to use this for some fall party, you could add some uh, orange sprinkles or something to it. That might add some fun color. After Doug finishes getting all the white chocolate on, we have to let this set for one to two hours for the chocolates to thicken back up and harden back up. And then we're gonna break it apart and then we'll give it a try. So uh, before we do that, we have crunched up a few of the cereal pieces and we're gonna sprinkle those on top. Oh, I forgot that. So we'll have, we'll come back after Doug gets the rest of this white chocolate on and we'll show you the sprinkling of the graham crackers. Okay, so I forgot the half a cup of crunched honey graham. So let's put those in a Ziploc bag, crunch them up. We're sprinkling these over the top. And it does look sort of like a one giant s'more here. So I'm excited about this. I think this might be a yummy treat. All right, so we're gonna chill it for one to two hours in the fridge just to make sure everything is set. I'm gonna cover it with some tin foil. I think I'm actually gonna spray the inside of that tin foil since there's chocolate on it. Let me spray that and then lightly cover it and we'll put it in the fridge for a couple hours. Then we'll beat you back here for a kitchen s'more. All right, we've had the s'mores bark in the fridge. It took about an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes to get it so that it is very set. And we're just gonna break it apart and then we'll give it a try. Now, I'm not sure you'd want a large piece of this, but it, as you see, if you break it small, it starts to really break apart. So I'm thinking larger pieces and then know that if you break it smaller, it's going to crumble, crumble. All right, we'll get this broken up, then we'll give it a try. All right, broke off a little piece of the bark and we'll give it a go. Nice and crunchy. I like the crunch. I'm a person who really loves crunchy textures. I don't like soggy, but I love crunchy. So I love that crunch. You can taste the honey cinnamon, the marshmallow, the chocolate. Tastes like a s'more. I thought I might miss the smokiness of having it like the marshmallow toasted, but I do not. I think this is really yummy. Probably one of my favorite things we've made, but it is kind of messy. Okay, let me give it a little try here. If you like s'mores, I think you're gonna love it. It has really good chocolate flavor. The crunchiness of the cereal, cereal is really nice. I think it's a pretty good little bite. All right, one thing we found is the, the cereal that ended up on the bottom is left. So I think if we would have stirred it a little bit, I like the look of it with the chocolate poured over the top but maybe if you would take an offset spatula or um, a knife or something and just swirl through it a little bit, just to pick up the little pieces on the bottom so that you get all of that cereal mixed in. But you can always grab a handful of that with some of this because it's really sweet and have yourself a nice treat. Hey, thanks for joining us today. We had a lot of fun. I enjoyed this treat. I think it's really yummy. It makes a big old pile of s'mores bark. So there's plenty. It'd be fun that you could Maybe even, I was thinking if you were tailgating, this would be something fun to take to a tailgate. Or, or a, little, a little party or... Or even if you were really going and having a campfire or you've got a fire, you know, in, a, in your fire pit, just to make some of this for a snack. But we enjoyed it. Hey, thank you so much for being with us today. Take care of yourselves, take care of others, and let us take care of you. If you have a prayer request, drop it in the comments and we'll be sure to pray for it. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Join us next week as we make a fun peanut butter ice cream pie. But it was a lady with a black backpack on her, carrying it on her front. It looked like a bear nose.
that was funny and kind of terroring, terrorizing, terror, whatever that word is. It's a good flavor. <laughs> it's a good flavor.